Have you ever been in a bit of a weird place and you feel your heart rate start to speed up? Well, that's your hormonal system taking over. I'm Emma, and today we're going to learn about it. We learned about the nervous system in a previous video, and now we're learning about the second system, the endocrine system. This is composed of glands, like the ones you see here. Glands secrete hormones into the bloodstream. They travel through the blood to their target organ, where an effect is actually produced. Travelling through the blood is a lot slower than the electrical impulses of the nervous system, but the effects are longer lasting. You need to know the names and positions of six glands in the human body. Pause and see if you can name any of these. Alright, we've got the pituitary gland up here beside the brain. Then we've got the thyroid gland. This is the pancreas. These are the adrenal glands. And in males, we've got the testes. And in females, we've got the ovaries. Let's come back to the pituitary gland. This is called the master gland. This is because it releases several hormones that can travel to other glands and cause them to release hormones. A tip to remember that it is the master gland is that it is found beside the brain, which is also like the master of the nervous system. The word pituitary is a rather long, fancy sounding word, which I think sounds a bit like an olden day master's name. The next bit of info we're looking at is higher tier only. So if you're studying foundation, skip ahead to the questions. Okay, so we're going to look at two glands and functions of the hormones that they produce. So we'll look at the thyroid and the adrenal glands. First up, the thyroid gland makes thyroxine. This controls the basal metabolic rate in your body, which is basically how quickly substances are built up and broken down. It controls growth and development in children, but in adults, the levels of thyroxine stay pretty constant. Next is adrenaline, produced by the adrenal glands. What do you think it does to these body parts? Well, this hormone increases the heart rate. It also increases the amount of oxygen and glucose supplied to the brain and the muscles. And finally, it increases your breathing rate. These changes prepare you for the fight or flight response. Say you see a wild boar in the forest and it charges at you, you might try to fight it or you might run away. So adrenaline is produced in stressful situations. When this situation is over, the adrenaline levels naturally lower. Now we're going to look at something called negative feedback. It controls different hormones and conditions to keep them at a constant level. And we're going to look at thyroxine. So the pituitary gland makes something called TSH or thyroid stimulating hormone. It makes the thyroid gland make more thyroxine. Let's say that the thyroxine levels increase. The response will be that the pituitary gland makes less TSH. And less TSH means the thyroid gland makes less thyroxine. This will bring the thyroxine levels back to the set point. On the other hand, if the thyroxine levels decrease, then the pituitary gland will need to make more TSH. More TSH means that the thyroid gland produces more thyroxine, again bringing it back to the set point. Okay, quick questions time. Pause the video, try the questions and press play when you're done. Number one, describe the function of glands. This is to secrete hormones into the bloodstream to affect target organs. Two. Why is the pituitary gland called the master gland? Well, it releases several hormones that travel in the blood to other glands, causing them to release hormones to have an effect. Three, suggest a disadvantage of the endocrine system. Okay, there are two. So, hormones are slower to cause an effect because they travel in the blood. They also last longer, but this may continue to have an effect when they're not actually needed. And four, name glands A, B, and C. A is a thyroid, B is a pancreas, and C is adrenal glands. How did you do? See if you can point out your glands on your own body, like the pituitary gland, the thyroid gland, and more. If you find this useful, see what's up next, and please subscribe. Thanks and bye!